Hey guys, welcome to our very first Facebook monetization masterclass. I'm your host Ayanda and I'm super excited to be hosting you guys. I hope this class is going to be very informative and it will get you a step closer to getting your account monetized and for you to make as much as I did last month. It's not difficult. All you need to do is just get a paper and a pen and start noting some of the most important points that worked for me and some tips and tricks to use in order to get as much as I did. Let's get right into the class. So the first thing that you will need to do is to switch your personal account into professional mode. I'm 100% sure that if you are in this class, you already have a Facebook account. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to switch your personal account into professional mode. Once you switch your account to professional mode, it will give you more tools that will allow you to monitor the progress or monitor how your account is performing. You'll be able to see how many people you're reaching when you post a video. You will be able to see how many people you are reaching when you post a, a still or a reel or any kind of content that you post on Facebook. You will be able to monitor the kind of analytics that are related to that particular post. This will enable you to pinpoint which kind of content your followers are into and which kind of content people engage with the most when I talk about engagement, I talk about shares, uh, comments and likes and also reactions. So if you create the specific content and you see that, OK, a lot of people are commenting and they're liking and they're sharing this content, you can already see that people or your followers are more likely going to engage or like this kind of content. Then you can take your content creation journey from that point onwards. So the first thing that you'll need to do is switch from a personal account to professional mode and you have to meet some basic requirements for you to start monetizing your personal account so now you've switched your account to professional mode and you are able to see the professional dashboard where you can check every analytic related to the content that you're creating now you have to have at least 5,000 followers so once you switch your account from personal to professional all your friends become your followers. So you automatically have 5,000 followers if you have 5,000 friends. So that how, that's how it works. And then the second thing is that you must post videos and reels and the watch time on those videos must be 60,000 minutes. So all your videos must amount to 60,000 minutes in 60 days. So people should have watched your videos for over like 60,000 minutes. Not a lot. It might seem like a lot, but when you have one video that goes viral, it literally covers all those hours in like a day. And that's just about it. Number three, your account has to follow community guidelines, which means you cannot post a naked pictures, um, sexually suggestive pictures, hate speech, or false information so you can't click bait basically your information has to be very accurate and you also have to create content that is worth watching because if you create content that people don't like chances are they won't watch the content and it's just going to be a waste of time so you must create very engaging content content that will be thought-provoking not false thought-provoking content that is going to create a debate or engagement it doesn't have to be something negative you could make commentary on current affairs or whatever but content that is going to get people talking or people engaging or be as informative as possible so that people can share the content it is very important that you create content that is shareable because the more people share the more your content reaches other people and make sure that your content is basically clean it shouldn't be content that is uh, racially discriminatory, abusive, very uh, PG-18. It should be content that can be consumed by anyone. Last requirement is that you need to have a minimum of five reels. So you, you can't just post one video, go viral, and then think you will start monetizing your account. No, you need to have a minimum of five videos. And your account must have been active for about 30 days or more. I'm 100% sure that you guys already have your accounts and you've had your accounts for quite some time. So that is not going to be an issue. And then the next option is a page. So let's say you have your Facebook page. However, you do not want to create content on your official 
or personal Facebook page, you would like to create a separate page for your uh, Facebook content. For example, let's say you are a mechanic or you are a singer, but you still want to maintain that privacy, you still want to have that privacy. You can keep your Facebook account, your personal Facebook account, and you can create a page. So when you create a page, it's somewhat separate to your personal account, but it's linked in that when you get paid, both pages are paid into one wallet. However, the content that you share on the site will not automatically be shared on that side. So the requirements for your page are a bit better and slightly easier than the ones for um, a personal account. So you need a thousand followers. So if you're like, well, I don't think I'll be able to get 5,000 followers. You can just simply create a page, get 1,000 followers, just 1,000. I mean, it's not that difficult. And also you are given an option to invite the people who are currently your friends to join your page. So it's somewhat of a shortcut, which actually works. Another thing is that you also need, unfortunately, 60,000 watch minutes. So you still need to create as many videos that are going to generate those many minutes. Yes, on a page, you will need less followers, but the minutes are still the same. And you also need to have a minimum of five, a minimum of five reels, which are already existing on your page. And you need to have your account active for 30 days. So if you create a page today and you meet the requirements tomorrow, you still have to meet the requirement of having your page been um, in existence for 30 days. That is all with regards to creating your page and the requirements. Now, the next and most important question that I usually get asked is, Okay, so you are posting a video. I'm posting videos. How do you make money from posting videos? Because we are all posting videos. We, we are all sharing content, basically. How do you make money? How does Facebook pay you for making videos? I mean, you just post videos, trying out clothes and whatnot. How does that money come about? Where does this money uh, magically uh, appear from? Well, you have several options to make money. The first one is stars. So when you have a thousand followers, even before you meet the requirements for monetization, you still can get stars. So stars are basically like a gift that your viewers, subscribers, or followers can give you. So you basically purchase stars um, and then you gift the, the, um, the creator for the content that they've made. And stars can be um, given on a post, any kind of post, even where you have just written maybe a thought or you posted a picture or you posted a video, anyone can share stars. And that's another way of making money. However, you don't get the full amount that the person used to buy the stars. Let's say someone bought 50 stars and they bought them for like 50 bucks. You don't get 50 rand, you might get 20 rand. So stars are not really the best way to make money on Facebook. However, they are quite beneficial for people who are interested in your con in your content and they just want to give to you with a little something, a gift, of, uh, a token of appreciation, if you may say. And the next and the most famous way to earn money on Facebook is through ads on reels so basically when you post videos sometimes you can see when you're scrolling through your reels feed you can see that some videos have uh, little banners with an advert at the bottom so those are the ads on reels basically you posted a video and then facebook feels that okay this video is getting some motion and this ad might be appropriate in this video where the more people view your video is the more people view the ad and it's the more you get what income another option is subscriptions so subscriptions are invite only so you will get an invite and then you'll accept the invite and then you'll be able to activate subscriptions on your facebook page which means that people can actually subscribe to your facebook page for a fee the lower subscription fee is like 18 bucks. You can customize your, your subscription fee. People can subscribe to your Facebook page and you can create content that is specifically targeted for those who have subscribed to your Facebook page. So that's another way of making money. There are also um, some features like stickers, which can only be used by people who have subscribed to your page. 
another um way to earn money is through bonuses so facebook does give you a bonus uh here's an example this is the money that i made this month and then after meeting this uh threshold this minimum threshold i got a bonus so usually facebook will tell you that if you get 55 dollars this month on ads on reels we'll give you a bonus of 100 bucks or something and that's how you earn on bonuses I have not yet been accepted to the program year bonuses. However, I have been put like in a trial. So I'm hoping that it's going to last forever because I love money and I want to make as much money as I possibly can. Because that's how I actually made so much money. Because I was just like, oh, Facebook is promising that if I can make $55 this month, they'll give me a $100 bonus. So I was just like, I'm going to create content as much as I can so that I can get that $100. Because I knew that if I can make that $55 um minimum i will also have hundred dollars which means i'll have like 150 155 dollars which is a lot of money it's it's over two grand so i was just like i'm definitely going to do this and then another way is through in-stream ads so basically when you post your videos there might be ads in between the video that's another way of making money i have not i have i have met the requirement however it's still under review so i'm not sure how well it performs i'm only familiar with subscriptions ads on reels stars and yeah that's basically what i know what i've tried out and what has worked for me ads on reels have really worked for me because that's where i got over that month and let's get to the most challenging aspect of monetizing your facebook account which is content because without content you can't really uh, monetize your account you need to have content someone's like okay i have uh 5000 followers i have 60000 watch minutes i was just posting videos of myself but now what kind of content should i make how do i make my content to be more appealing and how do i make sure that my content drives traffic to my page and makes people want to see it watch and engage this is why i'm here i'm going to assist you with how to pinpoint your niche and how to capitalize on your niche and your interest in order to make content seamlessly so because one thing that you don't want is to start making content and it feels like a job when you're making content it should feel like a hobby it should feel like something that you do for fun, as much as it is a job for other people, it should be very lighthearted. It shouldn't be, um, uh, uh, it shouldn't be exhausting. It should be very lighthearted. It should be fun. You should enjoy making content. Once it starts feeling like a job, once it starts feeling like you know your rent is due and you really need to do it, chances are your videos are not going to trend, and you are not going to enjoy. And people sense when a video is forced. So I am going to give you tips on how to make content that will be pleasure, pleasurable to watch and content that will be engaging and fun for you to make. It's very important for the content to be fun for you to make. Now, how do I make content that people are actually going to like? Number one, make content that you like. Because if you like something, then chances are someone else will like the content. Number two, make content that you enjoy making. Because it's it's very useless for you to, con to make content that you hate. Because it will show. You must be very passionate about the content that you're making. You see how passionate i am about talking about money because i love money and i love sharing tips and tricks on how to make money i have been doing so for quite some quite some time before i stopped and then i came back again because now i'm taking my, my um content creation journey very seriously so you must make content on things that you actually love i used to struggle with the kind of content that i would like to make because i didn't know what to do i didn't i knew that i wanted to create content but i wasn't sure what kind of content i wanted to make but when i figured out that okay this is the content that i like i also like this i also like that so i don't have one specific niche i then decided that i am going to be a lifestyle content creator basically a lifestyle content creator creates content around their lifestyle this is my lifestyle You'll see on my page, there's things related to legal, um, there's uh, fashion, there is um, like beauty skincare, and there is money related content. I love money and you can see how happy I am when I talk about money. So I'm creating content that I really love, content that I enjoy, content that is easy for me to create because 
it's like well this is my daily life and it doesn't feel like a job so it's like an extension of basically my daily life so well you already have a phone that's one step ahead and then you're just like well i don't really know what kind of niche i fall into it's not important or it's not really a requirement for you to have a specific niche you can just pinpoint your interest well i like cars i like um sports i like uh this i like that and then you can start from there you can test out different kinds of content and then see which content you like creating and which content people engage with which content your followers gravitate towards and then you can create all kinds of content and then focus on the one that seems to be doing great you don't have to quit because okay this content is not really uh people's favorite you can still create the content but you can put more effort into that other content and then slowly but surely you will gain an audience and the audience in your audience you will find that some people are into this some people are into that and whatever content you're creating caters for each and every person and it's very important to also look at the content that you consume because you are also a follower you are also someone's follower so if you like content that a creates and you're just like this is the content that i always watch that shows that this is the content that you actually enjoy so this is the content that you might actually enjoy creating or content that you might enjoy creating um reviews on for example if you like cooking if you like making meals or meal prepping or whatever whatever this is the kind of content that this is the kind of content that you might be able to give a proper informed review on you might be able to recreate because we are all content creators in a different sense so if you like cooking and someone is a chef you might be able to gain some inspiration on that content so the content that you also consume can give you more direction on the kind of content that you want to promote the kind of content that you want to be known for the kind of content that you want to make And then number five, how to determine the kind of content that you want to make, your interests. If you are an avid um, gamer, I mean, come on, you are already doing it for free. You could be creating a YouTube channel, a TikTok, Facebook page where you review kinds of games, where you actually play online, you challenge other people and that's content. You don't really have to go above and beyond. You can literally share what you enjoy doing so i i don't know any south african gamer who's like quite famous or prominent and i feel like that is a, a, a sport or a niche that a lot of south africans don't really look into because there are so many gamers overseas who are making money on twitch and all those kinds of like online streaming and i don't think a lot of south africans are exploring that i mean if you like gaming there's so much content that you can create around gaming and remember that a lot of people are gamers from young kids young adults to like old people you find that fathers uncles are, 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 are avid gamers so that's some content that you can actually um create or engage in and remember when you are a gamer you can talk about your, your new games uh, review the kind of games graphics all those things that's content creation and i'm 100 percent sure that it's not going to be texting because it's something that you do for free so imagine if you're doing something for free but now you just put a camera and you're making some bucks on the side it's a, it's a win for me how do you make videos you will need any kind of device whether it's a camera your laptop a phone any kind of equipment that will make your content creation journey easy you can get a gimbal also a light so you can film during the day and at night and some memory sticks just to save your videos for space and an editing um, app or software you are welcome to use whichever video editing software that you like this is the app that i use for editing my videos it is not free however some of the tools are actually free so you are able to edit your video from start to finish for free however if you want it to have more exciting features or uh, pop-ups and whatnot you have to pay but if you just want a basic video with just um cool uh transitions you can use it
I'm happy with how it performs for me. So now you have met the requirements, you have found your niche, you have created your content, you have edited the content perfectly, you now have a video. How do you post your videos? Number one, it is very important for you to join relevant groups. So if you are creating content related to beauty or fashion, it is very important for you to join groups where there will be people who are interested in that content. For example, I have... Um, content or lifestyle related content i am definitely going to join groups where they share um plugs on where to buy this where to buy that because the video that i'll be sharing will be giving them plugs on how uh timu clothes fit or how they look the price and whether it is a reliable site so for example if you're a gamer you are going to join uh, groups where they give tips and tricks on how to win a game how to play the game or where they give reviews on specific games this is where you will share your contact your, your content because if you're a gamer and you join a group where there's three hundred thousand gamers and your video is titled um gta 2025 people who are interested in getting the gta game are going to flock to your video because they see that okay i want to buy this game this person is reviewing it before i buy the game let me just go see what the game is like or what the graphics are like or whether it's worth buying or not and it is very important to share your content on your own page Yes, you have posted on your reels, you have posted the video. Share on your story. Make sure that your Facebook is linked to your Instagram. When you share the story on your Facebook, it automatically goes to where? Your Instagram. When you share your reel on your Facebook, it automatically goes to your Instagram. So now you have shared the same videos in different platforms without any, any struggles. You just post once, but it's already in two platforms. And share on your WhatsApp. There's so many people who can actually click from WhatsApp to your videos and ask people to share your content, your content as well, because if you don't ask them, they don't. So it is very important for you to ask people to engage, ask people to share, because when people share your videos, it is the best marketing that you can ever get because if this person has 5,000 followers they share that video to their 5,000 followers you have now increased your reach from your own followers to an extra 5,000 followers if this person has 10,000 followers they share your video you have now shared the video to a reach of over 15,000 so your content will be seen by a lot more people or there's a higher chance of your content being seen by people so it is very important to share your content share everywhere if you are in a in a whatsapp group or whatever just share the, the 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 link share the link make sure that your content is easily accessible make sure that on your um on your bio you include that this is the kind of content this is the kind of content that you create or your other pages so that when people get onto your Facebook, they can also be redirected to this page, that page. When people go to your Instagram, they are easily redirected to your Facebook. So make sure that your, your accounts are interlinked and it becomes easy for other people to find your content. Also adding that watermark will make it easy for people to locate you it will make it easy for other brands or other content creators who are interested in collaborating with you to find you or interact with you and last but not least make sure you use the relevant hashtags because you could have the most perfect video a video that is most likely going to blow up but because you didn't add the relevant tags it just diminishes just doesn't go far so it is very important that when you post a video if it's related to a gaming hashtag gaming hashtag uh review on this and that in that game hashtag gta 2024 for example this and like make sure that if someone is looking for content related related to that video when they when they search your video also pops up so for example if i want to um, make content on clothing or reviews and whatnot and whatnot it's very important for me to include that hashtag try on haul hashtag fashion hashtag timu haul or whatever just so that when someone is searching for a clothing haul my video pops up if someone wants to check on 
the legitimacy of Timu. They can just be like, oh, Timu reviews, and then my video is going to pop up. So it is very important to also include relevant hashtags and to tag relevant um, accounts or people or brands. For example, if you are going to um, review games that are made by Sony, it's very important to also say at Sony or whatever, because people who maybe search Sony to see videos related to Sony might be able to like uh, find your video. So it is very important to use the relevant text. And the most important thing, I know you are tempted to use trending music. I know there's that Chris Brown song that she's just like, I, I love the song. I want to edit my video. Don't. Don't. Because once you add copyrighted content or music, you don't get anything. I only realized this months after getting monetized because I was using trending, I was using trending music and my videos would blow up. They would go crazy. But guess what? I was getting absolutely nothing because the music is not mine. So it's basically like creating nothing. So don't use copyrighted music at all. It's counterproductive. It's a waste of your time. You will not get paid for the video that you made because you used Chris Brown's music. You used Rihanna's music. Just don't use copyrighted music at all. Because as soon as they notice, oh my gosh, oh, you're not getting anything. So that video, it was great quality. It was very engaging, but you used the wrong song. So make sure that you use generic um, music, music that is non-copyrighted. You can always search on YouTube for non-copyrighted music and make sure that you don't use copyrighted music. It's the worst thing that you can ever do for yourself because you can have a great video but get nothing because you used someone else's music. So just use generic music. You can use sounds where people actually speak but don't use music. Music is the biggest no no it's one of the reasons why people have great videos they have great engagement they have a lot of use but they're not making money it's because you are using trending music that is copyrighted and it's blocked from being monetized so don't use copyrighted music and we've come to the end of our video i hope i have answered the questions that you had with regards to monetization on facebook and if you have any further question or you want further clarity on any aspect that i discussed in this video please leave a comment down below i will respond to your comment within 24 hours because i want to make sure that you guys get value for your money and for everyone that joins the masterclass i am going to be available throughout your monetization journey so this is not just you getting a video watching it and then it's over no i will help you i will do a profile analysis and i will i i will give you tips and tricks on the kind of content that you need to create for your interest for the uh, kind of followers that you have which will make sure that you actually meet the requirements uh, continue making that content and you start making money so this is just the beginning of you getting monetized i hope that you guys are going to number one change your personal accounts to professional accounts and you are now going to actively create your 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 content and make sure that you're intentional in your creation of content and remember don't go against against community guidelines make sure that your content the content that you post is clean don't uh engage in content that is going to get your account suspended or blocked so just do that and let's get to making money on facebook i mean if you already have a nine to five job and you're making this much it's literally paying your rent or covering something your car installment is being covered by you just making videos it's just simple, easy money. So please, guys, change those accounts to uh, professional accounts. If you don't want your personal account to be involved in creation of content, get that page. It's very easy to get monetized through a page. So get that page. I'm available to share your content and to recommend it because I have a slightly larger audience. So I might have your potential followers on my page so i will be available to share the content once you start making content and if you're just like okay i've started making content but i'm not too sure about the quality of my content 
everyone who joined the masterclass is more than welcome to share the kind of content that they've already made and i will give you some honest and constructive reviews on the content and how to make sure that it is um great and it, it adds value and is going to be appreciated by your audience until next time